Hello everyone, this is John Schaefer from AmateurHooks.com and today's video is about what is a 22 PPC and what is it good for? The 22 PCP was developed in 1974 by Dr. Lewis Paul Palmizio, I'm sorry I hope I didn't mess that up and Ferris Pendel primarily for use for bench rest car shoes although originally a Wildcat Seiko of Finland introduced commercial rifles and ammunition late in the 1980s in 1987 Norma followed Norma follows suit in 1993 with loaded ammunition since it is an American development it is listed here as a current American cartridge rifle cartridge rather than an European cartridge the cartridge is based on the 220 Russian case which is neck down version of the 7.62 by 39 millimeter Soviet military cartridge. The Wichita Engineering and Supply Company made the first rifles for both the 22 and the 6mm PPC cartridges. Many custom rifles have been turned out in this caliber. In 1993 Ruger announced the number one V and the M77 varmint rifles in this cartridge the originator the originators altered the 220 Russian case by giving it a 10 degree body taper a 30 degree shoulder angle as well as expanding the neck to accept the standard 224 diameter bullet used in the U in the US the cartridge case are made in Finland by Seiko or in Sweden by Norma and use small rifle primers although the 22 PCP PPC is short rather stubby case only 1.51 inches long it nevertheless develops ballistic superior superior to some larger longer cartridges such as the 222 and the 223 Remington the 52 grain bullet can be pushed out of the muzzle at 3,500 feet per second, and this is definitely places the 222 PC or the 22 PC PPC in the varmint small game class. A 1 in 14 twist has become pretty much the standard for these barrels, although the 1 in 12 twist will be will be sometimes found. That is very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is John Schaefer from AmateurHooks.com, and the video was "What is the 22 PPC and what is the 22 PPC used for?" If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and keep a lookout for more videos to come. Thank you again.